I just woke up. Hey guys, what's up? Time for a uh, Blu-ray DVD update collection collection update. Uh, I guess I'll start with the Blu-rays because there's only two of them. Uh, I got fucking Dylan Dog Dead of Night for three dollars. At a fucking dollar general. And I think that's kind of weird. Considering this was a 20 million dollar movie. Yet. And I know like this movie flopped big time. And not a lot of people liked it. But I honestly personally think it's a pretty cool little movie. I mean it's not perfect. Um, I haven't read the comic books it's based on. But I've, but I've always had kind of a soft spot for this movie. Uh, ever since it came out. And I uh, saw it for three dollars. And I was like shit. I, I can afford three dollars. Next, we got something a little special. It's Halloween 2 on Blu-ray, even though I already own every single fucking Halloween. But I figured uh, it, it's, it's the fucking Scream Factory release that has both the TV cut of the film and the, and the regular cut of the film. And, uh... Yeah, it's... I don't know what else I have to say. Halloween 2 is probably one of the most well-known sequels to a horror film ever. Even though I honestly think it's just a rehash of the first film, uh, it's still a good movie. And, uh, I mean, I already own it, but, you know, cool to have it on the Scream Factory Blu-ray for only 10 bucks. Now we get on to the DVDs. Got some serious, serious shit. I should also mention I bought all these used, and I made sure they worked. And when I say I made sure they worked, I basically played, like, one on my TV and one on my laptop, both at the same time, on mute. So that way I could make sure they wouldn't skip or anything, and they all run perfectly well. Um, I got The Exorcist Part 3. I don't know if this one has much connection to the, um... To the, uh, you know first Exorcist movie. I haven't seen the sequel, the first sequel, Exorcist 2 The Heretic, although I've heard it's a pretty fun, like, bad movie. Um, it's on my watch list, I'm pretty sure. But Exorcist 3, I've always heard, is the return to form for the series, and uh, I saw it, I saw it, you know, for a dollar, and I was like, I have a dollar. Got fucking Stigmata. I don't know anything about this. This is another film that uh, this got a Blu-ray release from Scream Factory, like, last year. And, uh, I don't know much about this movie, other than the fact that, from what I've heard, it's one of the most ridiculous and stupid movies about, like, Catholic, about Catholicism, or or something like that. I, I, I don't know how to say it. But it's one of the most ridiculous movies involving faith, because it confuses stigmata with demonic possession. Uh, next we got Madison County, which is, uh, kind of really bad, at least from the looks of it, it's pretty bad, although the cover art's kind of cool, but I've always learned to not trust cover art ever since fucking, ever, ever since I watched a lot of bad movies, but, um, uh, Madison County is like your typical kind of fucking backwoods slasher film you know it's nothing too special again I'm, I'm saying this based on what I've heard about it I haven't watched it yet um I doubt I'm gonna like this movie but uh I figured why the hell not only a dollar um next we got one where the case is a bit messed up uh it's a film from Raw Feed which they had a very short run for straight to DVD horror films and, you know, people usually um, connect the term direct-to-DVD with bad movies and movies that aren't good. But, I don't know. I mean, Raw, uh, Raw Feed, they put out both of the, um, both of the rest stop movies. Jesus. Ugh. 
they put out both the rest stop movies which are movies that uh while a lot of people hate i honestly think they're not that bad you know i kind of like them and as well as otis which is a very 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 good uh horror comedy and this is their other movie which has been on my watch list for a while uh sublime it's some kind of a uh, psychological i think it's like some kind of weird psychological thriller yeah psychological thriller um it's about two hours long like god damn but yeah this is a direct to dvd movie Next we have this one. This one's a little... It's got stickers on it from an old rental place, but I'm not mad because uh, if you know me, I really like it when the stickers are still on the DVDs, are on the DVDs and uh, VHS tapes because uh, it, 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 shows, it, it shows that it's a part of history. This one is uh, the film Quills, which may seem uncharacteristic, for someone who has a poster for Alice's Shield for the SS in the background, as well as posters for trauma movies, as well as posters, there's a poster for pieces, as well as a Cat in the Brain t-shirt on, but I really like this movie. It's a drama film about the Marquis de Sade, who, uh, if you don't know who he is, he was, uh, he's probably the most infamous for his writing, and he was, the word sadism basically comes from his last name. Desaad. Uh I think I can just go ahead and kind of leave it at that. He was one of the first people to basically come out and say, hey guys, people, you know, there are people out there who like, um, you know, BDSM, basically. And he was put in, and he spent a lot of his life in mental institutions and stuff because of what he wrote. It's a really, really interesting little film. Uh... God damn. Next, I got The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, the fucking Criterion release of it. Which, uh, this is one of the only Wes Anderson films I've seen, but, uh, I wouldn't say it's great. I mean, it's, it's definitely got a kind of style, and, uh, it's definitely creative. I just don't think it's, uh, you know, as good as a comedy. Like it's, a, like, it's a very creative and cool movie in the way it's shot and the way it's, you know, presented and filmed. But it's just not as interesting as you'd expect. Come on, considering this is a movie that stars fucking Bill Murray... Next, we got fucking Aliens and Predator 2 on a on a two-pack, which I already own Predator 2, so I mainly bought this for Aliens, because it's been forever since I've seen it, and it was only $3. And I'm like, well, shit, Aliens for $3, that, you know, two-and-a-half-hour-long action sci-fi horror film that is great, at least as far as I can remember. It's been a very long time since I've seen Aliens. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, mainly for aliens. And finally, um, I own it because, why the hell not? It's, uh, it's Reservoir Dogs, Tarantino's first movie. Uh, I've always said Reservoir Dogs is one of my least favorite Tarantino movies. Yeah, it still kind of stands. I mean, it's better than Jackie Brown. Honestly, it's a bit better than the Kill Bill movies. Even though the Kill Bill movies are a lot more fun. I don't know. There's just, like... Like, I loved The Hateful Eight, which is a lot of talking. And this film is a lot of talking as well. But I don't know. I just can't get into Reservoir Dogs like I can The Hateful Eight or um, Pulp Fiction. Maybe that's just me. But, um, that's 
that's really it. That's that's it for my Blu-ray DVD collection update. Um, you guys have a good one.